The Frisco Kid, a comedy western, brought together a diverse and talented cast. Gene Wilder, an accomplished comedian, was an easy choice for the lead role of a Polish rabbi. His comedic timing and ability to play naive characters were well suited for this part. Harrison Ford, a rising star then, was cast as the outlaw Tommy Lillard. Ford's rugged charm and acting versatility made him a perfect fit for the role. Interestingly, Ford was not the first choice for this part. The original choice, John Voight, had to drop out due to scheduling conflicts. The chemistry between Wilder and Ford was palpable from their first scene together. During the auditions, they naturally played off each other's energy, making their dynamic one of the film's highlights. Ramon Beery, a seasoned character actor, was cast as the sheriff. His stern demeanor and authoritative presence added depth to the character. The casting directors were impressed by his ability to portray authority without coming off as threatening. The film's supporting cast included several talented character actors. Rachel Tykatin, in her film debut, played a Native American woman. Her authenticity and grace left a lasting impression on the casting directors. Val Basolio, another experienced character actor, played a train conductor. His gruff exterior and New York accent added a touch of humor to his scenes. In conclusion, the casting process for The Frisco Kid was a careful selection of talented actors who brought their unique energies to the film. The chemistry between the leads and the authenticity of the supporting cast contributed significantly to the film's success. Robert Aldrich, the director of The Frisco Kid, brought his unique vision to this comedic western. Known for his versatility, Aldrich had previously directed films ranging from war dramas like Attack to film noir classics such as Kiss Me Deadly. For The Frisco Kid, he chose a lighter tone, blending comedy and adventure. Aldrich's approach was characterized by strong visual storytelling. He often used wide shots to capture the vast landscapes, emphasizing the isolation and challenges faced by the characters. This was particularly evident in the scene set in the American frontier. The director also fostered a collaborative environment on set. He worked closely with actors Gene Wilder and Harrison Ford, helping them develop their characters. Wilder, known for his comic timing, played the titular role of a rabbi navigating the Wild West. Ford, in a rare pre-Indiana Jones appearance, portrayed a bank robber who becomes an unlikely ally. Aldrich reportedly allowed improvisation during filming, which added to the chemistry between the two leads. Creatively, Aldrich drew inspiration from earlier westerns, but aimed to subvert some of their tropes. The result was a fresh take on the genre, infused with humor and warmth. Despite its lightheartedness, the Frisco Kid doesn't shy away from exploring themes of identity, faith, and friendship. In terms of style, Aldrich favored long takes over quick cuts, allowing scenes to breathe and evolve naturally. This technique served to enhance both the comedic and dramatic moments in the film. Additionally, he employed a muted color palette, further distinguishing the Frisco Kid from other westerns of the era. Overall, Aldrich's direction brought to life a unique blend of comedy and western genres marked by compelling character development and stunning visuals. The Frisco Kid is a classic Hollywood movie from 1979 that many people love. It's a story about a priest named Father Joseph who travels from Philadelphia to San Francisco. Along the way, he meets a lot of interesting characters and has some wild adventures. One of the things that makes this movie so great is the performance of Gene Wilder, who plays Father Joseph. His comedic timing and heartfelt emotions really make the character come to life. Do you have a favorite scene or character from The Frisco Kid? Maybe you remember the first time you saw it, or a particular moment that stood out to you. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Personally, I have a soft spot for the scene where Father Joseph tries to learn how to ride a horse. It's a funny and endearing moment that shows his determination and resilience. But of course, there are many other memorable moments in this movie, from the shocking to the sad. So if you're watching along with us, keep an eye out for all the twists and turns that make the Frisco Kid such a classic. The Frisco Kid, set in the 1850s, presented unique challenges in recreating the era's ambience. The film's art department meticulously designed and sourced props to reflect the period accurately. For instance, they used authentic wagons, guns, and clothing to ensure historical accuracy. The set design was instrumental in establishing the film's atmosphere. They built a complete Old West town, including a saloon, hotel, and church on a studio backlot. This allowed for greater control over the environment and continuity throughout the shoot. Filming took place in various locations, including California and Nevada, to capture the vast, untamed landscapes of the American West. 
One notable scene was shot at the majestic Donner Pass, where the crew had to deal with harsh weather conditions and logistical challenges due to its remote location. In terms of innovative techniques, the production employed the then-new Reflex BL35BL camera. This lightweight, handheld camera offered greater flexibility and allowed for smoother tracking shots, enhancing the overall cinematic experience. Despite the logistical challenges, the team successfully created a believable and engaging depiction of the Old West, making the Frisco Kid a classic example of 1970s filmmaking. The Frisco Kid, a movie released in 1979, is a heartwarming tale of friendship and adventure. The film follows the journey of a rabbi, Avram Belinsky, played by Gene Wilder, who travels from Poland to San Francisco. Along the way, he meets a bank robber, Tommy Lillard, portrayed by Harrison Ford, who becomes his unlikely protector. Gene Wilder's performance as the bumbling yet endearing rabbi is a highlight of the movie. His character's innocence and purity shine through in every scene, making him a lovable protagonist. Harrison Ford's portrayal of the outlaw with a heart of gold is also noteworthy. His character's transformation from a selfish criminal to a loyal friend is one of the most compelling aspects of the story. The film's setting in the Wild West adds to its charm. The vast landscapes and bustling frontier towns provide a captivating backdrop for the story. The film also offers a glimpse into the lives of the Jewish community in the American West during the late 1800s. The Frisco Kid is a classic example of a fish-out-of-water story. Rabbi Belinsky's struggles to adapt to life in the Wild West provide plenty of laughs and memorable moments. His encounters with various characters, including Native Americans, outlaws, and townsfolk, are both entertaining and enlightening. The movie's message of friendship and acceptance is timeless. Despite their differences, Rabbi Belinsky and Tommy Lillard form a bond that transcends their backgrounds. Their journey together is a testament to the power of friendship and the human spirit. In conclusion, The Frisco Kid is a delightful movie that has stood the test of time. Its charming characters, engaging storyline, and timeless message make it a must-watch for fans of classic cinema. The Frisco Kid, a 1979 film, is a classic example of how music can enhance a movie's narrative and emotional tone. The score and soundtrack, composed by Elmer Bernstein, play a crucial role in setting the mood of this Western comedy. Bernstein, an experienced composer, skillfully uses music to highlight the film's comedic elements. He employs light, upbeat melodies during humorous scenes, creating a jovial atmosphere that complements the on-screen action. The use of accordion in the score, for instance, adds a touch of humor and fits perfectly with a film's setting in the Wild West. In contrast, Bernstein uses more serious, dramatic music during tense or emotional scenes. This contrast between comedic and serious music helps to heighten the film's emotional impact and keeps the audience engaged. The soundtrack also features traditional Jewish music, reflecting the heritage of the film's main character, a Polish rabbi named Avram. This music is used to emphasize Avram's cultural identity and to create a sense of contrast between him and the rough, wild environment of the American West. Interestingly, Bernstein himself was not Jewish, but he researched Jewish music extensively to ensure authenticity. He even consulted with a rabbi to learn more about the traditions and customs of Jewish culture. The musicians involved in the film's score and soundtrack also played a crucial role in its success. The accordion player, for example, was a session musician named Frank Morocco, who was known for his ability to play in a wide range of styles. His versatility and skill are evident in the score, where he skillfully navigates the switch between comedic and serious music. In conclusion, the score and soundtrack of The Frisco Kid are a testament to the power of music and film. Through his skillful use of music, Bernstein and the musicians involved were able to create a soundtrack that complements the narrative and emotional tone of the film, enhancing the audience's viewing experience. Moreover, one actor in the film, Vincent Schiavelli, was born in 1948 and later appeared in a Batman movie directed by Tim Burton. He passed away in 25. Alongside him, William Hootkins, another actor born the same year, played Lieutenant Eckhart in Batman. Additionally, Harrison Ford, who starred in the film, is a Democrat and has openly opposed the Iraq War. He is active in various environmental issues, but tends to avoid discussing his political views publicly. This was evident in a 2006 interview where he discussed the Mosquito Coast, but did not delve into his political beliefs. Furthermore, Ford was recognized as Star of the Year by the National Association of Theater Owners in 1994, highlighting his popularity and contributions to cinema during that period.
in The Frisco Kid. One of the most iconic scenes is when Tommy, played by Harrison Ford, helps Avram, the rabbi, portrayed by Gene Wilder, during a stagecoach robbery. This scene stands out due to the direction, performance, and cinematography. As the robbery begins, the camera work is tight and intense, focusing on the fear in Avram's eyes. But as Tommy takes charge, the camera pulls back, allowing us to see the entire scene unfold. This change in camera work mirrors Avram's growing trust in Tommy. Harrison Ford's performance is noteworthy. He switches between humor and seriousness seamlessly, making the scene both entertaining and impactful. Gene Wilder's performance is equally impressive. His portrayal of a rabbi out of his depth is both funny and touching, making the audience root for him. The direction in this scene is also commendable. The use of humor during a tense situation is a risky move, but it pays off. The robbers' reactions to Avram's attempts to bless them are priceless, providing a much-needed moment of levity. This scene has a significant impact on the audience. It not only advances the plot, but also deepens the relationship between Tommy and Avram. It's a testament to the film's ability to balance humor and drama, making it a classic in its genre. While there's no direct commentary from the filmmakers or actors about this specific scene, Wilder has been quoted as saying, I loved working with Harrison. We had a great time together, and I think that really shows on screen. This sentiment is evident in this scene, where their chemistry is palpable. In conclusion, the stagecoach robbery scene in The Frisco Kid is a standout moment in the film, showcasing the talents of the actors and filmmakers. It's a scene that's both entertaining and impactful, leaving a lasting impression on the audience. In 1970, Gene Wilder was offered the role of Ippolit in The Twelve Chairs by his friend and director, Mel Brooks. However, Wilder had set his sights on playing the lead role of Ostap. Unfortunately, Brooks found Wilder unsuitable for the part due to the character's description as devilishly handsome in the source material. As a result, both roles were eventually filled by Ron Moody and Frank Langella. Wilder's passion for cinema extended beyond acting, as evidenced by his selection of Charlie Chaplin's The Circus as his favorite film in an American Film Institute poll. His admiration for this silent comedy showcases his appreciation for timeless classics. Shifting focus to another renowned figure, Harrison Ford gained recognition when he surpassed others to become the highest grossing actor of all time in 2015. With the staggering combined earnings of over $4.7 billion from Star Wars Episode VII, The Force Awakens, and 41 of his earlier movies under his belt, it comes as no surprise that he claimed this esteemed position. This achievement underscores Ford's lasting impact on the industry and solidifies his status among Hollywood greats. Released in 1979, the Frisco Kid offered a fresh take on the traditional Western genre by featuring a Polish rabbi, played by Gene Wilder, navigating the American frontier. This unique narrative approach allowed the movie to connect with audiences seeking something beyond typical cowboy stories. One notable aspect of the film was its exploration of religious diversity and acceptance. By placing a Jewish character at its center, the Frisco Kid sparked conversations around understanding different faiths and fostering tolerance. Audiences were introduced to various aspects of Judaism through the protagonist's experiences, contributing to increased awareness and appreciation of the religion. Moreover, the film presented an uncommon portrayal of masculinity for its time. Instead of depicting hyper-masculine heroes often found in Western films, the Frisco Kid featured a gentle, compassionate male lead who relied on his wits and values rather than physical strength. This shift challenged societal norms and provided viewers with a more nuanced perspective on gender roles. Additionally, the film has had a lasting influence on popular culture. Fans of The Frisco Kid may notice elements borrowed from or paying homage to it in later movies and television shows set in the Old West. Its distinct blend of humor, drama, and cultural commentary continues to inspire content creators today. Lastly, the movie served as a platform for actor Harrison Ford to display his versatility before becoming a household name with major blockbuster franchises like Star Wars and Indiana Jones. In The Frisco Kid, he demonstrated range and depth early in his career, further solidifying the film's status as a cult classic worth remembering. Overall, The Frisco Kid left an indelible mark on both cinema and society, continuing to captivate new generations of fans even decades after its release. In the late 1970s, Harrison Ford starred in the comedy western film, The Frisco Kid. Apart from his acting career, 
the popular Danish pop duo Souvenirs honored him with a song titled Harrison Ford, included in their 1998 album Villa Denmark. Ford has been recognized beyond Hollywood. For instance, on October 6, 2006, he received the Jules Verne Spirit of Nature Award due to his commitment to environmental conservation efforts. The esteemed event unfolded at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles, California. Before becoming a household name, Harrison worked various jobs, including being a carpenter. One of his clients happened to be Judy Evans, a costume designer involved with productions like Soap, Benson, The Golden Girls, and Beauty, and The Beast. As her carpenter, Ford even remodeled Ms. Evans' bathroom during those early years. The Frisco Kid, released in 1979, was met with mixed reviews from critics. Some praised it for its unique blend of comedy and drama while others found it lacking in both departments. Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune gave the film two out of four stars, criticizing the uneven tone and slapstick humor. On the other hand, Variety magazine commended the chemistry between leads Gene Wilder and Harrison Ford, stating that their interplay gives the picture its spark. Despite the divided opinions, the film has garnered a cult following over the years. Audiences have grown fond of the fish-out-of-water story set against the backdrop of the American frontier. Many appreciate the unconventional pairing of Wilder, known for his comedic roles, and Ford, who usually portrayed rugged action heroes. As far as awards go, the Frisco Kid did not receive any major nominations. However, being selected for distribution by a prominent studio like Warner Brothers indicates some recognition of the film's potential during production. Additionally, its lasting popularity among niche audiences speaks volumes about its impact on viewers. For those involved in the making of this classic, including actors Gene Wilder and Harrison Ford along with director Robert Aldrich, the positive feedback likely brought satisfaction after initial criticism. Over time, they may have come to view the film more favorably due to its continued presence in popular culture. Ultimately, even if a project doesn't achieve immediate success or widespread acclaim, it can still find an appreciative audience and become cherished by fans worldwide. In discussing this classic, it's worth noting that the Frisco Kid marked the feature film debut of Beach Barkett. The cast also included David Bradley, who would later win the Laurence Olivier Theatre Award for his role in the Royal National Theatre's production of King Lear. While Harrison Ford has appeared in many memorable films over the years, he has stated that the Mosquito Coast is his personal favorite. Even so, his performance in The Frisco Kid remains noteworthy, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Without a doubt, the talent of the actors in this film contributed to its success, making it a beloved entry in the canon of cinema. From newcomers like Barquette to established veterans like Ford and Bradley, each performer brought their own unique strengths to the screen. In the late 1970s, a unique blend of comedy and adventure was taking shape in the form of The Frisco Kid. This classic movie, starring Gene Wilder and Harrison Ford, offered a fresh perspective on the traditional Western genre. During filming, the cast and crew often found themselves in unexpected situations. For instance, Wilder, known for his comedic genius, once accidentally ad-libbed a line that left Ford in stitches. In one scene, Wilder's character, a Polish rabbi, was supposed to say, I've never kissed a Gentile before. Instead, he said, I've never kissed a Gentile man before, causing an uproar of laughter on set. The film's production also took a toll on the actor's physical well-being. In a particular scene, Wilder had to ride a horse down a steep hill. Unaccustomed to horseback riding, Wilder lost control and tumbled off the horse, resulting in several bruises. However, being the trooper he was, Wilder got back on the horse and nailed the scene in a single tick. Ford, on the other hand, faced his own set of challenges. In one action-packed scene, he had to jump off a moving stagecoach. Despite his athletic prowess, Ford miscalculated the jump and landed on his back, injuring himself. However, he too brushed off the pain and continued filming. The film's production design team also had their work cut out for them. They had to recreate the Wild West in all its glory, complete with saloons, stagecoaches, and period-appropriate costumes. The result was a visually stunning backdrop that perfectly complemented the film's light-hearted tone. Despite the numerous challenges, The Frisco Kid remains a beloved classic, thanks in large part to the dedication and hard work of its cast and crew. Their behind-the-scenes anecdotes offer a fascinating glimpse into the making of this timeless film. During the filming of The Frisco Kid, Harrison Ford suffered a knee injury while shooting the trailer for The Fugitive. This injury occurred after the completion of the movie 
leading Ford to joke about making it through production unscathed, only to be injured during the promotional phase. Clyde Kusatsu, another actor in The Frisco Kid, boasts an impressive resume of over 200 projects, including extensive cartoon voiceover work. He is perhaps best known for his role as Admiral Nakamura on Star Trek The Next Generation. As for Harrison Ford, he topped the list of the top 100 movie stars of all time in Empire Magazine's October 1997 issue. His enduring popularity and talent have solidified his place as a beloved and respected figure in the film industry. The Frisco Kid, a 1979 comedy western, might not be the most celebrated film in history, yet it has left a noticeable impact on the industry. This classic, starring Gene Wilder and Harrison Ford, presented a unique twist on the traditional western genre by incorporating humor and Jewish culture. Although it wasn't a major success at the box office, the film's innovative blend of genres didn't go unnoticed. It paved the way for future filmmakers to experiment with genre conventions and create more diverse and inclusive stories. The film's fresh take on the western genre was a precursor to movies like Three Amigos and The Mask of Zorro, which also used humor to reinvigorate the genre. Moreover, the film's portrayal of Jewish culture was a rare sight in Hollywood at the time. By highlighting the Jewish immigrant experience in the American West, the movie added a new dimension to the typical Western narrative. This representation likely influenced later films like A Serious Man and the Coen Brothers' adaptation of True Grit, both of which delved into Jewish identity and the American frontier. In addition, the chemistry between Wilder and Ford in The Frisco Kid arguably inspired future film collaborations between comedic and action star duos. For instance, the pairing of Mel Gibson and Danny Glover in the Lethal Weapon series or the more recent team-up of Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman in The Predator can be traced back to the dynamic duo in this classic film. In conclusion, while The Frisco Kid might not be the most revered film in history, its innovative genre blending, cultural representation, and influential character dynamics have left a lasting impact on the film industry. Notable for its unique blend of comedy and drama, The Frisco Kid stars Harrison Ford, who has made a significant impact in the film industry. As of 2015, following the release of Star Wars Episode VII, The Force Awakens, Ford has featured in five of the top 30 highest grossing films of all time. Interestingly, adjusted for inflation, he ranks as the highest grossing as domestic box office star in history. In The Frisco Kid, there's a scene where an Orthodox Jewish man mistakenly identifies Amish men as fellow Orthodox Jews. This theme of mistaken identity is revisited in Witness, another Ford film released in 1985. Here, an Amish boy assumes an Orthodox Jewish man is Amish. Apart from Ford, The Frisco Kid also features David Bradley, who has an interesting connection to the Doctor Who franchise. Bradley, who plays a supporting role in The Frisco Kid, is one of three actors to have played a supporting character in Doctor Who, and then gone on to play the Doctor himself. Bradley portrayed Solomon in the 2012 episode Dinosaurs on a Spaceship, and then played the first Doctor, William Hartnell, in the 2013 TV movie An Adventure in Space and Time. The other two actors to have made this transition are Colin Baker and Peter Capaldi. In the movie The Frisco Kid, Gene Wilder turned down a role in the Poseidon Adventure due to scheduling conflicts. Years later, a mother and her children spotted him in a supermarket and whispered, that's Willy Wonka. Before telling Wilder, what a legacy, the film also marks the final appearance of prolific bit actor Rolf Sedan. In the world of film, Harrison Ford has made a significant impact with his memorable roles. Long before his appearances in culturally important films like American Graffiti and the Star Wars series, Ford worked as a roadie for the iconic band The Doors. This diverse experience in the entertainment industry showcases his versatility and adaptability. One notable incident in Ford's life involved a harrowing experience during a flight with Clint Eastwood and Sandra Locke. In 1987, their Gulfstream 3 jet encountered engine trouble and stuck landing gear while en route from Paris. Forced to land in Bangor, Maine, the group waited for another plane and mechanics to arrive before continuing their journey. Despite this frightening event, Ford's career as a respected actor persisted. Throughout his career, Ford has been part of numerous films that have left their mark on the cinematic landscape. Among these are The Frisco Kid, a classic film that showcases his range as an actor. Ford's enduring contributions to the film industry continue to resonate with audiences today. His legacy as a talented 
An accomplished thespian is a testament to his lasting impact on the world of cinema. In The Frisco Kid, Harrison Ford showcases his talent in a different role compared to his more heart-pounding movies. Moving on to Gene Wilder, he was not only a talented actor, but also a devoted husband and father. He adopted his second wife's daughter, and, after his third wife's death, co-founded Gilda's Club to raise awareness for ovarian cancer. Vincent Schiavelli, another actor in this classic, had a unique achievement in his career. He is the only actor besides Christopher Walken to have played both Batman and Bond villains. This speaks volumes about his versatility and range as an actor. In conclusion, while The Frisco Kid may not be as action-packed as some of Harrison Ford's other films, or as heartwarming as Gene Wilder's roles, it still showcases the talents of these accomplished actors. And let's not forget the unique contribution of Vincent Schiavelli, who added his own flair to the world of superhero and spy movies. Have you ever seen the 1979 movie, The Frisco Kid? This classic film tells the story of a Polish rabbi who travels across America to lead a synagogue in San Francisco. Along the way, he meets a bank robber, played by Gene Wilder, who becomes his unlikely protector. The Frisco Kid is a heartwarming tale of friendship, and adventure. It's a film that explores the diversity of American culture and the power of faith. The movie is filled with humor and drama, making it a memorable experience for viewers. Did you know that The Frisco Kid was actually filmed on location in Arizona, Nevada, and California? The stunning landscapes and bustling cities provide a vibrant backdrop for the story. If you've seen The Frisco Kid, you might remember some of its unforgettable scenes. Perhaps you were touched by the rabbi's unwavering faith or amused by the bank robber's antics. Whatever your impression, this classic film is sure to leave a lasting impact. We'd love to hear about your experiences and memories related to The Frisco Kid. How did this movie impact you personally or influence your perspective on cinema? Share your thoughts with us by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more cinematic explorations. So don't be shy. Tell us about your connection to this classic film. We can't wait to hear